In this video, we are going to get the time response of the first order system for a test signal as unit impulse. That means, for the unit impulse signal as test signal, what may be the time response of the first order system that we are going to discuss here. So, this is the first order system, basic first order system. Generally, what is meant by a first order system means in the transfer function denominator polynomial, if the maximum power of S is equal to 1, then we can say that is a first order system. Coming to this basic first order system log diagram, if you consider the transfer function T of S is equal to C of S by R of S. So, this is equal to according to the negative feedback theory, we can write this the transfer function of the system as G by 1 plus G H. So, that means 1 by S tau divided by 1 plus 1 by S tau into 1. So, this is equal to 1 by 1 plus S tau you are going to get. This is the transfer function of this first order system. What we need to find out time response of this first order system for the input as impulse we need to find out. So, here time response is nothing but the response of the system in terms of time. This is the response of the system in terms of Laplace transform. So, that means in terms of frequency or in terms of S domain. But we need to find out the response of the system, the output of the system with respect to time, then we can say that response as time response. So, to find time response of the system is nothing but finding the output of the system. Ultimately, we need to find out the C of t. So, here I am having my transfer function, you just keep aside. Before getting into the procedure, I want to discuss about my test signal. So, here I want to consider unit impulse as my test signal. So, that I need to apply as input to test the signal with that system, I need to apply that signal as input. So, my R of t will be equivalent to impulse. So, here R of t is equivalent to del of t I need to consider. But I want R of S. So, our black diagram, if you observe our black diagram, that will be in S domain. So, R of S is equal to, if you consider Laplace transform of R of T, then you are going to get R of S. That means Laplace transform of del of T. You know that Laplace transform of impulse function is equal to 1. Now, I am considering this equation. T of S equal to C of S by R of S. My transfer function C of S by R of S is equal to 1 by 1 plus S tau. This is my transfer function. I need to find out C of T. So, what are, uh, what is the way to find out that C of T means? First, I want to find out C of S. After that, I want to apply inverse Laplace transform. Then I use it to get C of T here. So, to get C of S, yes, I am having this abstract, I am just sending this R of S yes to that side. So, then I will get C of S yes is equal to R of S yes into 1 by 1 plus S yes tau. We know the value of R of S. Yes. So, we are giving, as we are giving unit impulse as our input, our transform of that input is equal to 1. We already found that value. So, here the resultant of this C of S then is equal to 1 by 1 plus S tau. If you substituted R of S is equal to 1. Now, I am having C of S in my hand. Then I can apply the inverse transform. So, here I am writing this C of S in the form of a equation which is inverse Laplace transformable. That means, I am taking common of this 1 by tau here. I am writing like this. So, 1 by tau into 1 by tau plus yes, I am writing like this. You can see I am taking common of tau here. The tau I want to send to denominator. If I take in common of tau, I will get 1 by tau here. So, I am writing this equation like this. If you modify, you are going to get the same. And here, if you apply, if you want to find out C of t, then you need to consider the inverse Laplace transform of the C of s. That means, inverse Laplace transform of 1 by tau is a constant and for remaining one, S plus 1 by tau. 
So now this is as this is a constant the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus 1 by tau. So that is in the form of Laplace inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus a the inverse Laplace transform of this 1 by s plus a is e power minus a t u of t. So this is equivalent to if you consider this you are going to get c of t is equivalent to 1 by tau e power minus a t u of t e power minus a t u of t 1 by tau into e power minus a t u of t you are going to get this u of t you can take out and you can write the condition t greater than or equivalent to 0 like this also you can write if you want to make that u of t as 1 so, this signal is applicable in the region t greater than or equal to 0 only. So, if you consider the response diagram that means you just you just take a graph paper and you just apply this t values and tau you just take like any constant then you are going to get like this. The response of the system you are going to get like this. So, like this you are going to get the response of the system. This is the response of first order system for unit impulse as its input. So, when you are testing with unit impulse the response or time response of the first order system will be like this. So, this is the response of first order system.